Pennsylvania is home to over a million registered voters not affiliated with either the Democratic or Republican parties. The state is also one of nine states that does not allow independent voters to participate in primary elections. WENY state capital correspondent Brendan Scanlon, he breaks down closed primaries this evening from Harrisburg. Voting is a cornerstone to democracy and a fundamental right of American citizens. Yet in Pennsylvania, taxpaying residents must be registered with one of the two major parties to exercise that right in a primary election. Independent voters should be allowed to vote in a Democratic or Republican primary. John Opdyke is the president of the national advocacy group Open Primaries. He argues open primaries promote candidates who are more in touch with the majority of voters and not special interests. The primary system is set up to advantage the special interest groups that can mobilize their voters to come out and participate in a party primary. And as such, you get candidates that tend to be more connected to and sensitive to those special interest groups. That's gasoline on the fire of, of polarization and gridlock and dysfunction. David Thornburg with the Good Government Group Committee of 70 says those who do show up to the primaries tend to be more partisan. They will tend to elect candidates who represent their views therefore more extreme on the right or left. Advocates believe open primaries would not only decrease polarization, but it would also give a growing independent voter population the ability to exercise their right. Uh, it's the fastest growing segment in Pennsylvania. People want to vote for candidates, not parties. Opdyke says taxpayers, whether Democrat, Republican or independent, are all funding the primaries and should be able to exercise their right. So they want to be private, but they want the public to fund it. And that's the real problem with the current primary system. It's a problem which State Senator Dan Laughlin is trying to fix. Our election process is very expensive and they should be allowed to participate. Laughlin is the sponsor of Senate Bill 690, which would establish open primaries and give registered independents a choice. But there's a lot of people that don't want to pick a team. They just want to participate in democracy. And this bill would give them a chance to do that. In Harrisburg, Brendan Scanlon reporting.